Welcome to this week's online service for Paul Missionary, which today comes to us from the magnificent surroundings of St Mary's Church in Welshpool. Today is a special day, a feast day in the life of the church. It's a day of celebration. And what we're celebrating today is the saints of the church. All those men and women who in the course of Christian history have had a key role in sharing the Christian gospel with others, demonstrating the love of God to those in the community around them, and building up the church in its life. So today, as we remember all of those people and give thanks for all that they've done because of their belief and faith and love for God, we celebrate the Feast of All Saints and we hope you enjoy our service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pause for a moment to look back on our lives and prepare to make our confession. We say together, Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word and deed and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Your sins are forgiven through Jesus Christ our Lord who said, Go in peace, come and follow me. Amen. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image. And in these last days you have spoken to us, in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Our Bible reading this morning comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 7, beginning at verse 9. <clears throat> After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes, and all peoples, and all languages, standing there before the throne and before the Lamb of God, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to Christ. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the living creatures there, and they fell down before God and worshipped him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel Canticle Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. As I said at the beginning of the service, today we celebrate the saints of the Christian Church, all those people who have enriched the world and enriched the life of the Church through the way in which they've been faithful in living their own lives. Many churches like this one that depict the saints on pictures or on stained glass windows in the hope that their images will inspire and encourage us as we remember their stories and the way they live their lives. We can read about many of the saints of the early church in the Bible, especially in the Acts of the Apostles. We hear about Peter and Paul and James and John and some of the great things that they did as they sought to live out the teachings and the things that they learned from Jesus. As well as the Bible depicting many saints, there are also many other saints that are recorded elsewhere who throughout the course of history have been faithful in the way they've lived out their life. Every country has its own saints. Here in Wales, for example, we celebrate Dowies and David. We celebrate Dudrick, Tyler and many others. All of these people are people we can look up to and be inspired by. But sometimes those stories of those great people actually have the opposite effect. They don't inspire us at all because they seem so far away from us. They're often depicted as being perfect and completely wonderful people. And they're simply not. They're just human beings who are faithful in the way that they live their lives. Some of the stories in the Bible actually help us to recognize that. We see many occasions in the Gospels where Peter fails to do what he should do, does the wrong thing. We see the kind of person that St. Paul was before he encountered Christ. And the same is true of every saint. They weren't perfect, but the way they lived their lives still inspired and encouraged others in such a way that they look, look uh, remembered fondly as being important people in the life of their nation or in the life of the church. Each of us will also have important people in our own lives, people who have inspired and encouraged us, perhaps people who have helped us to come to know about God for ourselves, perhaps people who taught us when we were young, perhaps people who have led by example in our lives in the way that they've lived in their lives. And I believe that these people are saints too. Anyone who has been faithful to what Christ taught, who has lived their life with loving kindness and generosity, is a saint in my eyes. And many of the saints, many of the people of this church are saints to me. Many of the people of other churches in which I worshipped here in this mission area are saints to me. Many of the people in other places where I've been before I came here are saints to me because they've been such great examples in the way that they've lived out their lives. As we celebrate All Saints Day today, I hope that you will remember the people who were saints in your life and be inspired and encouraged by them to try and live your life in a better way, to try to be a little bit more kind, a little bit more loving, a little bit more honest, or whatever it is that we need to do to be a better example of someone following Christ and living by his teachings. As well as recording the lives and stories of some of the great figures of the early church, the Bible also mentions an awful lot of other people. And there are some sections of the Bible which seem to be full of names and people and their families and where they came from and so on. They don't always make the most interesting reading. We don't feel that we particularly care who it was that rebuilt this part of the wall of Jerusalem or contributed this particular craftsmanship to the building of the temple. But the reason why they recorded is because they're still important to God. It doesn't matter to God that what they did was thousands of years ago. They were important to Him, they are important to Him. In fact, Jesus 
tells us an astounding thing. Jesus tells us that every single human being is important to God. He said once when he was perhaps walking through a marketplace and seeing hanging up on one of the stalls some sparrows. Sparrows used to be sold for meat. You get much of a meal for one, so you buy two for the equivalent of a penny. And he said, think about those sparrows. You could buy two in the market for a penny. And yet not a single one of them falls to the ground without our Father God knowing about it. And if the sparrows are important to him, Jesus continued, how much more important to him do you think you are? He knows every single thing about you. Even the hairs on your head are numbered, Jesus said. That's how deeply and completely God knows us. When we do good things for God, God is pleased, God is happy, it puts a smile on God's face when he sees his people doing what they should be doing, following Christ's example, loving one another, caring for other people. It's an inspiration to other people and it's a joy to God when we do the right thing, when we are loving when it would be easier not to be, when we are honest when it's tempting to avoid it, when we do the right thing whatever the attractions are of doing the wrong thing. As we celebrate all saints day today, may we be inspired by those saints that we know, as well as the saints of the life of the church. May we give thanks to God for them and remember them with gratitude, but may we also be inspired by them and seek to follow their example in not giving up when we get it wrong, not counting ourselves as failures but recognising that we're a work in progress. We're on journey. We're living, we're living. We're trying to get better. We're trying to follow the example of Christ and the examples of those who've gone before us. And we pray that one day we might rejoice with them because God in his infinite mercy forgives our failings, rejoices in our successes, and wants to welcome us in his kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say the Creed together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made known. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. During our prayers this morning, I'm going to light a candle and invite people to remember those who, who they love who've died if you want to, you can light a candle yourself at home if you have one, or light some other form of light, or offer some other sort of symbolic remembrance. So you might want to pause the service for a moment while you get whatever you need to be able to do that. Heavenly Father, in our prayers this morning, we wish to thank you for all those who've gone before us and have led us by their example. We thank you for the saints and martyrs of the early church in their great courage and determination 
to take the good news of Jesus out to others. We thank you for those saints who brought the gospel to Wales and travelled the highways and byways of our nations so that others might come to know the good news that they had found for themselves. And we thank you for the saints we've known in our own lives, for those who've led us to faith or taught us and encouraged us and helped us. We thank you for those who pray for us and for those who walk alongside us and inspire us in so many ways. For all of these people, Lord, we give you thanks and praise. Amen. We pray for those who live as saints today, for all those who in this time of pandemic are selflessly giving of themselves to care for others in our hospitals and nursing homes and medical surgeries, amongst families and friends, people who care for their neighbours and people who go about that, their own work with a determination to make life easier and better for others. We give thanks for them and pray for your guidance and blessing upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we remember those who've gone before us, we think particularly today of those who we love but no longer see. And as we, as I light this candle, and if you wish you light a candle or something else at home as well, we'll pause for a moment of quiet to remember all who are dear to us who've died, to give thanks for them and all that they've meant to us. Heavenly Father, there are so many people who have enriched our lives in one way or another and we thank you for each one of them. We pray that they might rejoice in your eternal kingdom and we pray that through the grace of Jesus Christ we might one day be forgiven for all the times that we fail and received with joy into your eternal kingdom where we might once again be reunited with them and rejoice in your presence forever. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.